we just woke up one day and we, we heard everywhere everyone was jamming, jumping, jamming on the fire. Yeah. So the story came like this. After we have produced Stupid Stupid for Fig for Maika, yes. so Jeff called me and told me, you know what, BIT, we need another big mega song with Shiba. Yeah. Yeah. But by that time, we were always in the studio with Ziggy. Mm. So I had already produced the beat was there. And I called Ziggy to come and listen to mm. So when Ziggy just listens, when he just picked up the vibe. When, so he, when you wrote it, did you know it was for Shiba? No. You had First no of all, we just we are writing projects as by the way, because we had time by yeah. the lockdown. We, we were in studio 24-7. So I, I played the beats for him, he just come and write everything. So when Jeff said that he wanted the song for Shiba, yeah. of course now we, I called Zig and Zig just started writing everything. Zig, how did you come up with the lyrics? What inspired the words in the song? Uh, I, I had some little idea about that Kahuku Engeli. Because when I was at my library, mm -hmm. I used to, I think, just near the Lord, so I could watch about those beautiful girls, you know, yeah. passing through. So I, I was so inspired. Yeah. By women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, by women and yeah. different, you know, images in my head. So I just had to come up with the idea. And when I was going to studio, I met mm -hmm. some guy, he had, he had a dog. Eh? Okay. That's why I had to to create that thing. Gamba guja kuru cheke nze tomba kuru stege. Because they were moving together and I was like, wow, like a man and a dog. How long did it it's take so for you to finish? It was just like ten to seven weeks. No way. That's some <laughs> new wine stuff. Uh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> I don't get a friend right <laughs> What? I just drop one day. And yeah. how about the production? How long does it take? So, that song, it just came as a miracle because it didn't take a lot of our time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the beat, I credit, it was like 30 minutes when I have already arranged everything. Yeah. And when Zig was almost there in the studio. Mm. So, it wasn't, it was just like something that God brought for us. We yeah. didn't take a lot of time on production. After writing, we sent Selecta Jeff, of which he had to send to Jeff Chiba. Yes. To Shiba. Yeah. So we are very eager. Oh, well, that is wonderful, wonderful. Do you, I didn't see it on your YouTube account. Do you have a copy, okay. Who owns the song? Of course now, the song is, it's owned by the artist, it's owned by Selector Jeff and Shiba. So you're paid up front, you don't get royalties after? Yeah, we get royalties. Oh, you do? Yeah, we, uh, so money. after that, they, they, <laughs> they had to add that. Because yeah. it wasn't like they were supposed to pay us, and, and we also we refused about the payment because we, we had that feeling that the song might be good. Yeah. And it, it, was, it was going to work out. Now I'm just going to ask you a question that I ask almost every artist. Who is your dream collaboration? Me? Both of you. We'll start with you, Ziggy. Yeah, I, I think we split. Oh, that is musically, yeah, right? Musically. Okay, beautiful. What about you, BAT? Oh, to collaborate, as in collaboration with the artist yeah. or production, production wise. Of course, I, many artists are good out there. It could be a producer, like, yeah. you know, co-producing on a song, or him co-producing on yours. Of Who is course. that you look up to? Of course, that has to be DJ Khaled. Ah, DJ Khaled is, is the highest. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the vibe he brings in the song, and the, the way how we create the vibe. and. You know, I like that. Being a dreamer is wonderful, because they say yeah. when you shoot for the, for the stars and the moon, which one is closer, when you yeah. shoot for the moon and hit the stars, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful right there. And I'm also going to ask you this question, because I must know, you are artists, especially Ziggy. Mm -hmm. Are you going to vote Uma president? Yeah. Who are you going Actually to vote? Voted. Who are you going to vote? Are we voting newly? I thought the votes were cancelled. Uh, this should be... <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't want to take sides. I see everyone is taking sides. <laughs> but anyway, it's been amazing talking to you. But for now, we are going to talk about Monica, the song. It, mm -hmm. It's been out four days now. Yeah, but, but before Monica, yeah. I, I have another song with Pinky. Oh, yeah, Body. Just dropped one month ago, yeah. And where is the video? And we shoot the video over the weekend. This weekend? Yeah. That's, wow. That's the day after tomorrow, actually. Wonderful. Yeah. 
and I do love the song actually listen to it. I don't know how it is, but I was gonna remember it. <laughs> it's a beautiful one, right? Because yeah, I've been working a lot on Binky's album. Okay. Binky. Oh. I, I managed to put two hits, mega hits of already, Superstar and Wow Wow, Wonderful. which was also produced by B.I.D. Wonderful. So just have a lot of work saturating around. You, you are. Very many people need a lot, working Benda and wow. Phoenix. You guys are too humble for the work you've done. <laughs> and that's going to take you extremely, very, very, very further. So can we talk about Monica? <laughs> talk about Monica. Yeah. First of all, when I saw Monica and I saw Melon, I was like, wow, he must love women. But <laughs> <laughs> of course, women are the most fun, fun of the music, for sure. Really? The women like music more than men, so that's why you find out everyone is singing about women. Oh, we're just yeah. magical with our shapes and everything in between. Of course, so. that <laughs> is magical. I got love. Wow, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so I get Herbert Skills also did uh, is on this song producer, right? Uh, so I produced, yeah. and Herbert Skills did the master. You the know, master. Herbert Skills the the guy who is doing finishing up every uh, mastering most of my projects. Wow. Because uh, I don't like working alone on the projects. Yeah. I can spend more hours on my project, and I just feel like. I need somebody Someone, with some ear. professional ear yes. and Habba Skill is the guy who is doing very great yeah. mastering and mm -hmm. of course he won even a billboard plaque so wow. he got that vibe that he adds in and the that, other, other minor minor thing that I didn't hear yeah. but for him he can create to do things. Wonderful, so, wonderful. So Ziggy wrote it and sang it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What's the inspiration between the writing? How did you get inspired to write Monica? I just vibed on it. Did you know? Do you have any Monica in, in your life that inspired it? <laughs> no, I no. just wanted something that can catch African ears. Okay. You know, the word Monica is overused in African music and yeah. represents the African looks and African girl as well. Oh, as the yeah. most famous African name that yeah. wherever you go. So I was looking for this. Wow. Before we actually premiere Monica and play it for the world, how do you see, where do you see yourselves? How do you see your music impacting people, especially in Uganda? Wow, I can't even believe people are like, wow, you guy, you're from Nigeria, you're from where? <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're getting a lot of fans right now. Yeah. And we just need, you know, to get established and they push our work more and more. Where do you want to be? What is that point you're going to hit and you say, I have made it? I think for the BET, it would be. I think I, I need to fight for Grammy. You want a Grammy? Yeah, okay. Want a Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm capable, you know? It's possible, man. Yeah. Anything is really, really possible. Um, wonderful, wonderful. So we already know BET wants to work with DJ Khaled, so we already get it. <laughs> but it's been amazing having you on the show and getting sure. to know young talents like you. Because I can assure you, people do not really take um, pay attention to people like you who give yeah. the music the flavor that it has. Sure. Yeah, do you think did. we should have awards for just you people, writers and producers? Do we have those awards? The awards are there, but as it just no politics. Politics. <laughs> you can say it loud. Yeah, yeah the politics. <laughs> politics <laughs> still in music. Yeah. Was, you find yeah. you find people who know yeah. they are not exposed, and people who don't know yeah. they are exposed. So it's very very hard to balance. Is that the only challenge you faced? As a producer. As a producer and as a singer writer. Yeah. Yeah, those are the, big they're just the, the same thing. Finances are not a problem. I mean, when you Uganda. Of course, now we're in Uganda. <laughs> in, you just know, you just understand Uganda. Uganda is now just trying to. Uh, they're trying to understand what's the real meaning of music, because long ago a musician could only perform, yeah. and they were not all aware of international or even digital. Yeah. That's why. For us, we are trying to change the sound. Yeah. You know, of course, we have to do Ugandan's vibe, yeah. but we can. We also need to do music that we can export. When maybe when you're in UK and you listen to yeah, Ugandan yeah. music, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the music from Uganda. So we need to do something a sound which yeah. is very very unique, mm. but is representing Uganda. Uganda's 
Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much for really coming to Taido. We are pleased to have you on the show. Yeah. And of course, get to premiere amazing music. I do hope I get to talk to you another time where we have like literally four hours of chatting and getting into your artistic, you know, uh, sides. Yeah. But I'm really, really happy to meet you. Personally, I'm meeting you for the first time and yeah. it's amazing. I do hope sure. Uganda gets recognized how selective you are. Yeah. Now we are going to jam to the jam of the day. <laughs> are you ready? Because I want you on your feet. <laughs> I'm already in love like it's mine. I mean I already had it. So let's go. Tide the radio. Good morning.